Hi, it's Nikki here from Happy Hormones for Life. And today I thought I'd talk about the humble potato. <laughs> now, in the past, I've always said in my programs that you should avoid too many potatoes, that they spike your blood sugar, and there's not really an awful lot in them, so they're a bit of a wasted food. But, and it also depends on the way they're cooked, obviously, you don't want to be frying them. But actually, I've really changed my mind about potatoes. <laughs> there's some science now that shows they are um, actually a bit more nutritious than we ever thought. So firstly, they are rich in something called resistant starch. Now, you might have heard of this um, in the science recently, but it, it's pretty much what it is. It's um, a type of carbohydrate that's actually quite resistant to digestion in the small intestine. So it doesn't um, uh, cause any inflammation or um, spikes in insulin or blood, or blood sugar. So that's a good thing. Um, resistant starch has been shown to help with weight loss, with regulating obviously blood sugar levels, um, and also obviously helping with obesity and um, type two diabetes. And the thing is, it's really, really good for your gut because it feeds your healthy, your, um, your commensal, your, your good gut bacteria, your good bugs. It's one of their favorite foods. So um, the other thing is that potatoes are actually rich in vitamins and minerals. So they're loaded in B vitamins and minerals like potassium, and they've got tons of vitamin C in them as well. So uh, actually they're a bit more nutritious than we ever thought. They're quite affordable, really cheap foods. Um, obviously uh, I buy organic where possible because um, if you're baking them as well, then you're eating the skins. Um, They've also got um, lots of kind of phytonutrients in them. And they, to be honest, they taste really good, don't they? So what are some good ways of eating potatoes that aren't gonna be unhealthy? So baking them is uh, a really good way of, of keeping as much resistant starch as possible. But the best thing to do with potatoes is actually to cook them and let them cool. Because that, uh, when you let them cool, the resistant starch really, really um, grows in there and you've got a lot more a uh, lot more to deal with and a lot more benefits that that, that, that can give. So cold cooked uh, potatoes, so you can make a potato salad. Um, you can have them, you can roast your potatoes and then, you know, uh, if you want to heat them up the next day or cook them in a little bit of coconut oil or butter, lovely. Um, so um, yeah, and just avoid any kind of vegetable oils if you're you know, crisps, obviously, and not a good way of eating potatoes uh, or anything like French fries that are chips that are um, made with vegetable oils. Um, you can make lovely chips with coconut oil by just baking them in the oven, covering them in coconut oil and salt and pepper. That's the way I do have mine. So hopefully we'll get back on the, the, uh, uh, the potatoes, uh, you know, and not too many obviously, but part of a, a healthy balanced diet is a really good thing and hopefully good for your bugs. Hope you find that useful. Comment, ask any questions you like on resistant starch. It's a really interesting topic. Well, for me anyway. And um, let me know if you've got any good potato recipes. Take care. Bye.